Well, we're one of four Scottish members of the European Football for Development Network, um, and there are two conferences every year, and they rotate around different countries, and uh, the um, spinning bottle stopped at us this time. But no, we, we offered to provide help and um, organise this uh, conference with uh, the EFDN, so delighted to host everyone here. And it would have been our turn at one point, and why not now? It's been really, really good. Um, I think one of the most positive things is seeing the amount of work um, that's been done throughout uh, Europe with all the clubs that are currently here at the, the event. Clubs are not competing off the pitch when it's to do with the, the charity and community activities, so there's no reason why we can't cooperate, share good practice um, in events such as this. And for the Rangers Charity Foundation, it's offered a tremendous platform to showcase all the work that we're doing. I mean, we should be very proud of what we're doing at the Rangers Charity Foundation across all the charity partnerships and community activities and in-kind support. So over the course of the two days, I gave a presentation about the Foundation's work. Um, the Minister for Wellbeing and Sport was in the audience. Um, we had four different projects being showcased to all conference delegates yesterday and meeting the participants on our community programmes. And today, uh, Gary is going to be uh, discussing the Glasgow Veterans United programme. So it's offered us a great platform to talk about what we're doing. And there's been some good ideas and um, from other clubs and new relationships built that we can follow up on. I'm presenting on our project, uh, Glasgow Veterans United, uh, which is a 16-week programme that we run here in partnership with Glasgow's Helping Heroes and the NHS Health Improvement Team. Um, it's been a really successful programme, we've had great results, um, and it's all about be kind of behavior behavioural change for the guys that have kind of come out of the army, um, and we're supporting um, their issues around kind of drugs, alcohol, social isolation. Um, so those those types of things, but using the football and the club as the hook to to improve uh, the individual's life. Well, I think you should always be prepared to to learn from other people. We can't always be the fountain of all the best ideas in the world. So. Um, if someone else has tried something, it works and it's relevant for the context that we work in here, then uh, why not uh, find out more about it and see if um, you can get help to, to deliver something similar. I think all clubs are unique though, we're not all seeking to be clones. Um, each club has its own unique strengths um, and opportunities and the context and the communities that they find themselves working with. So we can always do more and I'm more than happy to to hear uh, good practice from others. Employability is an area of focus for us within the, the Rangers Charity Foundation and there's a number of clubs that we're going to now link with after this event um, to look at the, the programmes that they've got in place so that we can maybe look at implementing them ourselves. Having it here this year has been really, really positive and it's a really, really good step um, and it's given us uh, a platform to showcase the work that uh, is going on within the Rangers Charity Foundation. The feedback informally between sessions has been massively positive about the, the character of the, the club, the beauty of the, the, the stadium and the welcome that we've uh, given them. We've worked really hard to try and make them feel as welcome as possible.